into building uh, parking solutions within cities, and they are credited with the world's first radial car park. Uh, honorable panel, sir, respectful delegates, prospective customers, and friends. After going through the presentations uh, since this morning, we thought that we are going to change uh, a little bit on uh, how we are going to present, so we, have, uh, we are going to run a video. Unfortunately, it's not a Bollywood flick, I can assure you. It's a Hollywood flick. This is what I heard from one of the media guys when we presented to him 11 years ago in Calcutta. And he said, Mr. Mundra, you're reading something out of a Hollywood flick. And uh, this is the Hollywood flick history that and we heritage have. Of more than 300 <coughs> years. Kolkata stands out among dimension. all metros in India as a city of its own kind. Can you blow up, please? And the lights a bit down. This is what we have achieved after 11 years. And uh, I don't need to mention anything about uh, the problems of parking. We are going to see after Nano is launched. With a remarkable history and heritage of more than 300 years, Kolkata stands out among all metros in India as a city of its own kind. In the last 10 years, India has witnessed a phenomenal rise in passenger car production. And thus, cars running on the roads of India have also increased considerably. Unfortunately, enough vacant places for parking them have not been created. Such is a common feature in the busy roads of many countries where both the sides of the road are being used for public parking, with each car occupying almost 150 square feet of road area the available carriageway is reduced considerably. Added to this, the on-street parking process in itself leads to never-ending traffic snarls, congestion and related pollution. Opened in the year 1874, Sir Stuart Hogg Market, commonly known as the New Market, situated among a densely populated area and with a huge footfall every day, parking of public vehicles was a major problem in this area for a long time. But not anymore. Simpa Infrastructures Private Limited, with the objective of getting a system or design to fit any location, then a location to fit a system. Simpa Infrastructure has designed, constructed, is maintaining and operating an underground public parking facility in front of this heritage marketplace for the last one year. A giant step towards ending an era of congested cars, it's an underground screaming car park. drivers and agitated pedestrians. Those were the lift lobbies. The company at a correction, simplex projects. Tarek Ormo got Tarek and Achem. I convey my best wishes, best thanks to you. Added to this feature is an underground air conditioned shopping mall in the first basement level. Sprawling across more than 40,000 square feet, the mall houses many leading brands of products. The place has a huge footfall every day to prove its acceptability among the masses. Simpark Infrastructure is the pioneer organization in India to introduce such revolutionary parking technology, system and design for alleviation of vehicular parking. Simpark has indigenized many technologies with most of the technical parts manufactured and fabricated in India. This is a unique achievement of Simpark. Please look System at all the technologies that's going to be shown on the video technology. carefully. Car in. The car comes at the entry door. Operator flashes a card for entry. Every you can see the difference. A particular number. Entry door opened. Driver takes the card from counter outside. Operator pushes the final confirmation button. The door is closed. The elevator goes down with the car towards the parking area at the second basement, eight meters below the existing ground level. There are no driveways in this particular system. Every square inch is being utilized. You don't need more than 130 square feet or 13 square meters of car space.
The churning of the pallets organizes the placements of the parked cars. The car is shifted to an empty slot and another pallet comes on the elevator. The pallets run on carrier wheels, which can bear high loads and have good friction properties. Car out. If you can make it a louder, please. Back the car to the operator. Operator flushes the car and the bill comes. The elevator goes down to bring the car. By this. Bit at minus from the automated system. The churning of pallets takes place so that the pallet on the elevator shifts out to an empty space created beside the elevator by the pre-programmed software of the system. And the desired car's pallet moves onto the elevator. The elevator goes up. The exit door opens. The driver drives out the car. The driver doesn't go down with the vehicle. He leaves it System in the two is the dolly type technology. Car in. The car comes at the entry door. Operator flashes a card for entry. It's a different technology. Every card holds a particular number. Entry door opened. Take a look at how the car is going to be lifted and parked. Driver takes the you car can, from counter outside. see the difference. Operator pushes the final confirmation button. Dolly fork opens to align the car straight automatically and lifts the car. All four wheels are lifted together at the same time. The elevator goes down with the car towards the parking area at the second basement. We have patented this lift. The, the shuttle lift lobby transports the to the track on the second basement and moves away from the elevator along with the dolly car and the car to the position in line with the empty stall. There are multiple layers, one behind the other. Then the car is delivered to the empty stall by the dolly. Now the dolly returns to the shuttle and the dolly takes the shuttle back to the elevator. Elevator goes up for the next order. This lift has no motor room, it has no counterweights. You can see when the next picture in the lift lobby, there are no motor rooms. It's not a hydraulic lift, the first one was a hydraulic lift. There are multiple rows of cars. Car out. Driver gives back the card to the operator. Operator flushes the card and the bill comes. The elevator goes down to bring the car. The dolly travels to the car to be taken out. The civil it engineering moves behind the other car to pave the way. The civil engineering behind this project was also unique by itself. 